Introducing the precise and durable CO2 control drive. A new twist on an old favorite. Made of precision CNC machined aluminum, the control drive provides a durable and reliable CO2 head that threads directly onto a fresh CO2 cartridge for efficient tire inflation and is compatible with both Presta and Schrader valves with its twin slip fit design. Available in black and silver, the control drive provides maximum CO2 control with its oversized pressure adjustment knob, allowing you to precisely inflate your tire wherever you may ride. Using the control drive is fast and easy. Tighten the pressure adjustment knob into the closed position and thread a fresh CO2 cartridge into the head. Slip the control drive onto your Presta valve Carefully open the pressure adjustment knob to your desired inflation speed and inflate to your desired pressure. Twist the adjustment knob to precisely tune your tire pressure. Then close the CO2 valve and remove the control drive from the valve. Empty any remaining CO2 from the cartridge before removing it from the control drive. The compact and accurate control drive. Say hello to the Tiny Object by Portland Design Works. It's a pint-sized CO2 inflator made of indestructible, oh-so-shiny alloy and compatible with all Presta valves. The tiny object comes with a vegetable tan leather sleeve to prevent your fingers from getting frosty while you fill your flat tire. To use the tiny object, first make sure the control knob on the top of the inflator is completely closed. Next, screw a 16-gram cartridge into the bottom of the inflator. Open your Presta valve and tap it to unstick the valve and prepare it for filling. Securely push the tiny object onto the valve. Slowly open the control knob, Lefty Lucy, to release a small amount of CO2 into the tube. Verify that CO2 is filling the tube before opening the knob to fill it completely. Once finished, twist the control knob to close the flow and carefully pull the tiny object from the valve. And that is the Tiny Object by PDW, a small, flat-filling hero that's easy to stash in your jersey pocket, seat bag, or hydration backpack. We're going to talk about using two CO2 inflators from Topeak to fix a flat tire. We're going to start with the Air Booster, which comes with a silicone sleeve, and with it I'm using a 25-gram CO2 cartridge and gloves to protect my hand from frostbite. To inflate our flat tire, we'll move the CO2 cartridge from the storage portion of the device to the engagement portion of the device underneath the dust cap. You should continue screwing CO2 cartridge fully until you feel it come to a complete stop, which punctures the CO2 cartridge. Once ready to inflate your flat tire, firmly grasp the silicone sleeve on this air cartridge and place a finger upon the silicone pad on the back of the inflation device. Apply pressure onto your valve and release air. Thanks to a smart head design, the air booster and the micro air booster are both compatible with Schrader and Presta valves. To install on a Schrader valve, simply take your air booster or micro air booster and without compressing the head, thread it onto the valve and compress to release air. Once our tire is inflated and we're ready to remove the CO2 cartridge from our air booster, we want to make sure we release all the CO2 from our cartridge. I've done this here on a tire lever, but you can do this against the ground or on a rock. Once all the air is completely expelled, we can remove the CO2 cartridge. If your CO2 cartridge is stuck, the threads may be frozen within the device. Simply let it sit for a minute to allow the threads to warm back up. Both CO2 inflators are great for mountain and road tires. The ultra compact size of the micro air booster makes it ideal for road bike applications. To begin, we'll remove the safety spacer that is included with the micro air booster to allow for storage of a CO2 canister with the device. We'll want to make sure to save this safety spacer for later use. Firmly attach the CO2 cartridge to the micro air booster and while only holding the silicone sleeve, inflate your tire. 
When finished inflating your tire, make sure to expend all the extra CO2 within the canister. Before heading out for your next ride, to store a fresh CO2 canister, place the safety spacer onto the threads of the canister and attach your micro air booster so that you're in storage mode. This is the Shiny Object CO2 inflator. It's probably one of my favorite PDW products. It's really simple and it works really well. When we designed it, we made sure that we made the entire thing out of metal, so even if you were to drop it when it's cold, it can't break. It'll work with Schrader or Presta valves without doing anything to the head because it has a smart valve. It also has a regulator dial on it, so when you're starting to inflate your tire, you can put just a little bit of air inside, get the tire seated, and then go the rest of the way. There's no one-shot deal. Because CO2 cartridges get extremely cold when you discharge the CO2 into your tube, we offer the shiny object with or without a leather insulation sleeve. The Shiny Object is a great product, it's really simple, and it's a lot better than walking home. It's another pump in the PDW inflation line that we're very proud of.